Okay, today I'm on Tilly. She's had some time off because I was busy training other horses. So I'm gonna show you her canter. She can canter the poles. She does okay. But I'm trying to get her lead without the poles. And to the right, she gets really confused. She can't figure out her legs. To the left, she's pretty good. So I might use some poles, I might not. We'll got that big hind end. She just gates when she's loose or paces she'll occasionally trot but not much at all and I have to work on that. I'd like to make her trot more because it'll help this canter. So uh, she's a mare. She thinks she knows what she's supposed to do and so when we get to the pole sometimes she just charges at them like that's how I'll get my canter. I'll just run at it and she almost scares the hell out of us as she's doing it because sometimes she clears the pole sometimes she doesn't clear it so well. I don't want her to do that when we go in the canter. I don't want her to just take off, you know, and bolt and get it. So we want to teach her to rock back. So I've used the poles some. Sometimes she gets it, sometimes she doesn't. She doesn't always listen to me, so that's a problem. You know, I'm trying to bring her hind quarter over and get her to get it from the back end and then go, but sometimes she doesn't listen and she just throws herself over the pole. So some of the times I use the pole and then some of the times I'm just trying to get the canter. And what you'll see her doing is this. She kind of jumping up in the air and with her I do want to get that leaping canter so because she's not going to be good really fast she's got that back end's too big and she'll get strung out and it just won't be good so I want to get that leaping canter for her so 
she's still trying to figure out her feet. So here and there she kind of gets it. Sometimes she's cross cantering, sometimes she's got the correct lead. But at least she's coming up. And in the beginning she got confused and really pissed and she's like, I guess you just want me to rear up. So she just started rearing up and I was like, no, that's not the answer. So we've been working on it so we can get one or two steps but your horse might do the same thing and you might be like, what is he doing? Why is he jumping up and down? Go get mad. They're trying to figure out what you want. And since we can't tell them, like, hey, Tilly, I'd like you to get that leaping canter. I need a certain lead in the back and a certain lead in the front. And that's what I'd like you to do. But she doesn't know. And, you know, I show her something. Then she goes, she thinks, oh, I got it. I got it. I know what to do. But she doesn't. That's the hard part to convince. See her, she put her ear on and she's like, I don't. Now to the left she's much better, but for some reason to this right, it's not her front end, it's her back end that's uncoordinated. But that happens a lot with these uh, overstrided walking horses. It can be quite difficult for them, especially if they just gait or pace versus the ones that trot. So I tried a fair amount. It's a judgment call when I think she's doing it pretty good or she's tried enough, or I think if she tries again she's going to get uh, upset, then that's it. That's it for the day. So that was it for today. She tried, it was pretty good. She didn't rear way up. She didn't have a hissy fit. So now we're gonna go to the left. chickens are going again so I know it's hard to hear me so yesterday she did a little bit different to the left it was a, a, a canner like a half canner not up as much but it was nice but today she didn't try that the hard part with her is sometimes she goes to get it she can't get it and then she just wants to pace her gait and then she just wants to blow by she just wants to go fast and I just tell her no we're gonna walk we might stop and back up and try again Sometimes when I do that then and stop, then she gets mad and she gets stuck. And she's like, fine, then I just won't go. Or fine, I'll just rear up. That's what I'm going to do for you. And I just go, no, if you rear up, I'm going to spin you around and then we're still going to try it. So you just have to calmly go through it. Try to get through their hissy fits. Don't fight or beat them up. They're, they're trying. It's just they're frustrated and they don't know how to do it. And it's not her fault because it's her confirmation. It's not like she's a Rocky, because those can are pretty easily usually. So the Rocky people might be like, what are you talking about? Sit on a walking horse, you'll find out. But 
these walking horses, the ones like her, can have a very difficult um, time cantering. And again, the more trotty they are, that helps. But the ones like her, where you love their gates, they're great. It's very difficult if you want to get the canter, and that's why so many people give up. And again, she's older. She's 15 or 16 now. So we're going to get there. It's going to be a long road. It's going to take time. But now she's where Nichols was like four months ago. He got this way ahead of her. But again, he's a Kentucky Mountain shorter stride. He was pacey, but could also trot. So she's a walking horse, big overstride, more difficult for her. She just gates and then paces. So she's getting there, she's coming up, which you know is gonna be nice, but it's also exhausting for them, you know, leaping up like that. So she's trying, she's getting there, and we'll get there in time. Hope that helps.